In the summer of 1984, I worked at Yellowstone National Park, played in a string quartet in a hotel. People would come and listen, and one day this gentleman, older gentleman, came and asked us to play a movement from a Haydn string quartet, and, and it went like this. Now this story is about the power of music and what it does to someone. That music from Haydn's string quartet later became the German national anthem. So after we had played this, since he had asked us, I was talking to him. I speak German. I was talking to him in German. Come to find out this guy is an old Nazi. Uh, was a member of the SS, fought in Stalingrad. It was very interesting. It was interesting to see how the, uh, this particular piece of music brought back all those memories of, his, of the glory of Nazi Germany in his mind of how wonderful things were for him. Um, on a personal note, I'm talking with this guy and he looks around furtively to make sure nobody's watching and then he gives me the Sieg Heil. I couldn't believe it. I thought this guy's, that was right out of the history book. I, I've read about that, but I've never had somebody actually do that to me. This guy was an old Nazi. Forty years later, he was still enamored with Hitler. And I must have been stunned because he thought I didn't understand, and he said it again, Sieg Heil. And I was flabbergasted. I was kind of like, well, okay. <laughs> I wasn't going to return it, but that's the power of music. Forty years after the fact, he listens to that piece, and this guy still brings back the memories from his earlier life.